All right, hey guys that are watching this video, um, there is not very many kids, in, four, four kids in class. We're gonna go over the homework for two two, and um, yeah, see how far we get from there. So going the, over these problems, um, I'm recording this for you, so you have it. Here is number two. Okay, all right, number two. Um, zero. Okay, for, I'm, I'm just gonna read it for the function graphed. Uh, arrange the numbers zero, so just zero, and then they want f prime of negative three. What does that mean? I don't know. No idea. F prime means the derivative. Derivative. Oh. Which means the yep. slope yep. of yep. the yep. tangent line. Okay, yep. the slope of the tangent line at negative three. So negative three is right here, and I want this guy, and I want his slope ish. Okay, so we're doing that slope, right? Okay, then f prime of zero. Ugh. His slope is gonna be like here. If I could have drawn in the book. Okay, uh, at two, this guy right here, he's gonna be like a slope maybe like that, I don't know. Nah, maybe slightly, slightly downhill. Slightly that way. Yeah, do you agree at two, maybe? And at four, one, two, three, four, his slope is like this right here. Okay, so we're looking at those five numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, which one is going to be the lowest number? Which means the most negative. The most negative. Okay. Zero. zero. Yeah. F prime is zero, right? No. The number is zero. The most negative? The most zero. negative. The biggest negative oh, number. No, 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 no. Oh, negative four. four. I'm going to say this guy's the biggest oh, negative number because he's the I steepest know, and he's the most negative. So that would be f prime of 4. He is going to be the steepest negative, so the largest negative number, okay? Which one's the next largest? That, that's prime of zero. Right here, I'm going to say this is the next one, f prime of 0, okay? All right, which one's the next negative number? Um, 2. 2, f prime of 2, okay? And then f of negative 3. But wait, 0, we got to put 0 in there. So does 0 go at the end or does 0 go in between? Yeah. Where does 0 live? Everywhere. This guy is going to be a, this one's the only one that has a positive slope. So it's right? Going to be so this is a negative number. This is a negative number. This is a negative slope. This one's my positive slope. So 0 needs to go here, right? Mm -hmm. Negative slopes, positive slopes. So my positive slope would be f prime of negative 3. Do you see how that works? Okay, I have no idea what the slopes of those tangent lines are but I can guesstimate based on how steep they are, right? The steeper it is, the bigger the number. Okay, makes sense, kinda ish. So in this order, that's how you put them in order. In increasing order, all right? Yes. What, what's next? Eight. Eight? Eight. Okay, given that F prime, or excuse me, F of negative two is three. That's the point negative two comma three. And the derivative of negative two is negative four. Find an equation for the tangent line to the graph of at negative two. Okay. And f prime of negative two. Hmm, I gotta think about this. I gotta think about how they want you to do this. F prime of negative two is equal to negative four. So that means that whatever you get when you plug in the derivative. Yeah, yeah. Okay, an equation of a tangent line. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't know, you probably can do this a little bit easier of a way. Yeah, but we want the equation of the tangent line. All right, here we go. So, equation of tangent line is y equals mx plus b. Got it? Mx plus b. Okay. The slope, yeah, yeah, yeah. F prime of negative two, this is just saying the slope of my tangent line is equal to how much? Negative two. Negative four. Oh. <laughs> if negative four is the slope of my tangent line at that point, where does that go? M. M, that's M. Y equals negative 4x plus b, right? Now how to find the b at negative 2? You just plug in your points. Negative 2, 3, that one's not too bad. So negative 4 times negative 2 is 8, and if I subtract 8, b is something. Wait, so the negative 4? Mm-hmm. So saying that the... 
Negative four, so the F prime is my derivative, and a derivative is the slope of my tangent line. So I'm trying to come up with my tangent line here, and the slope of my tangent line is just M, okay. right? So slope of tangent line just means that number is negative four, yeah. Okay, so what would you get for B? If you subtract it and stuff? Three minus eight. Uh-huh. Negative, negative five. five. So find an equation for the tangent line. Y equals? Negative four X minus five. Negative four X minus five. There you go. Okay, I had to think about that for a second. Blah, 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 blah. Does that make sense though? Yeah. Like I'm just, I, I had to think about it for a second too. I'm like, what are they even asking? Yeah, that just means the slope of your tangent line. That's it. That's what a derivative means, okay? That was eight. 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay, use uh, the definition 2, 2, 1, which is that uh, limit function. That's the limit as a, you're like moaning and groaning now. Um, uh, F of x plus h minus f of x over h, right? That's that thing. Mm -hmm. um, we have to do that and then find the tangent line at this certain point. So I'm going to do this guy. I want to put him into my limit thing and then I want to actually plug in negative 1 for my value. Got it? Okay, so let's do the limity thing. All right, so I'm going to start to plug stuff in. The limit as h goes to zero of, okay, what is f of x plus h gonna look like if that's my function? Two. Two? Instead of two x cubed, it'll be x plus h cubed plus one, okay, minus, and I'm gonna do this whole thing in like a bracket maybe, two x cubed plus one. Okay, that's my f minus f of x. So I've got this chunk minus that chunk all over, H. Okay, now what do we do? Um, Oil. Oil. We gotta, we gotta get this x plus h cubed thing going on. Okay. All right, so x plus h times x plus h. Then we gotta do another x plus h. Okay. So let's do these two first. You can't do them all three at the same time. Let's do those two first. So x times x is x squared. x times h is xh, but then we've got another xh. So 2xh plus h times h, h squared. h squared. Okay, then I've got to take him times the last x plus h. So x cubed, x squared times h is plus x squared h. 2xh times x is 2x squared h. This guy will be plus, I need to erase this over here so I have room. Um, plus 2, oh heavens, 2xh squared plus h squared x plus h cubed. Did I do that right? Mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms. Okay, so, blah, equals, I've got x cubed, done. x squared h plus 2x squared h is 3x squared h. Okay, boom, boom, plus... 3xh squared, boom, boom, plus h cubed. Okay, now what with that? Now that goes that goes right here. So we've got to multiply everything by 2 there. Okay, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to write them down. So I've got to multiply through by 2, so that'll make 2, 6, 6, 2. I'm multiplying everything through by 2. 2x to the third plus 6x squared h plus... 6xh squared plus 2h cubed. Okay, there's that. That's just this chunk. Whoop. Then what? Um, plus 1? One. Minus? minus, minus two, oh my gosh. This guy right here. Minus, minus 2x cubed. And then minus, minus 1 because he needs to go through the. Okay. And then all over h. And we've got the limit as h goes to 0. Okay, we're almost done. Ones cancel out, and the minus 2x cubes cancel out. Okay? So now I just have these three terms right here. Let's pull, so pull out an h. h times, and we've got h on the bottom. So 6x squared, if I take this h out, he's gone. If I take one of these h's out, I'll have one left, so I'm just going to get rid of that. So 6xh, and then what, about, what will that become? 2h squared. Okay? All right, the limit as h goes to zero. Okay, gone. Now what? Now plug in. Now plug in. Zero. Zero, zero goes in for h. Zero. zero, zero. Okay, so what's the final answer? Six. X 
6x squared. Boom. Okay. All right, real quick, before we do anything else. 6x squared is what we got for the derivative. If you use the power rule on this thing, the derivative of 2x cubed, you bring the 3 down in front. 6x oh squared. This is going to hurt. What's the derivative of 1? What? Zero. Zero. So it's just 6x squared. So, bah. so wait, this one to the first power, and then you bring it to the front. Wait a, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. The one, the one. Okay, so we have to find the derivative of this guy, which we said was 6x squared, right? 6x squared is what he is. This is like 1x to the 0 power, right? He doesn't have an x. So if I bring 0 down in front, 0 times 1 is 0, times x to technically the negative first power, but 0 times anything is 0, so it just goes away. So any constant is just 0, okay? So his derivative is 6x squared. Okay, now, have we answered all parts of the problem? Use the definition to find f prime of x. Okay, so what is f prime of x? The derivative, which is 6x squared. That's f prime of x. That's the first part. And then find the tangent line, oh, the tangent line, to the graph at x equals a. Okay, so we want specifically at negative 1. This is my derivative. And the derivative means slope of the tangent line. Okay, so if I plug negative 1 in, what will my slope be? The slope equals 6. Okay, now I don't want just the slope though, I want the whole equation. Y equals mx plus b. So I know that m is 6. How do I find b? Plug in some numbers for x and y. The problem is I know what x is. What's x supposed to be? Negative 1, but what's my y value? We don't know. Can we find it out? Can we plug negative 1 into the original and figure out what that one is? Sure. Negative 1 goes in here. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times 2, negative 2, plus 1. Excuse me, negative 2 plus 1. Negative 1? Negative 1, negative 1? Okay, so we plug him into the original, find the y, and so this is negative 1. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have to find b. 0. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Add 6. b is 5. Okay, so final answer. We found our derivative. This is our general derivative, right? y equals 6x plus 5. That is my whole tangent line. Yeah. Okay? Coming together-ish. Okay. Zero. All right, what else we got? Um, 18? 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. Okay. Formula 12. For, I don't know. Formula 12. That's that limit thing again, I think. To find dy dx. And then formula. Yeah, I know. Formula 12 is a weird thing. Look found it in the book. What's formula 12? I don't want to do that. So. I don't either. Formula 12? Who did you fix that one? Formula 12? Who did you fix that one? Where's formula 12? Jane, it needs to be fixed. Can you find it? Where is that? Use formula 12 to find dy dx. Hearing that only makes it itch more. Come here. Formulas one and two. Look up. Formulas eight and nine. Do you see what we were trying to do yesterday? Libby and I were like, this isn't happening. I don't know. Formula. Oh. You just find formula 12. Let me show you where oh, formula 12 is. I literally showed where? everyone where it was. Where is it? What are you talking about? It has about? the 12 right beside it. I think you're lying to me. I don't think I'm lying to you because that's the formula 12. Well, that's the same thing as the H equation. We're going to use that one. 
Because we want to. We're going to use the H. That's the same as, formula 12 is the same thing as the H. Um, yeah. Yeah. You looked in the bottle, saw nothing was in there, so you shook it. As like a demonstration that there's no danger. Got it. Everyone else. You just need to know that Jalen's done her in drugs. Bert's Pharmacy. It's prescribed, though. Where's Bert's Pharmacy? Hey, Zings. That's also our pharmacy, Jalen. Attached to the family medical. Family yeah. Medical Center, is that what this family, is? so how is this? I think so. Right, it's the same thing. It is the same thing. Okay, so we're going to do it. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we go. I'm not. The limit. Whoa. But it's not the same thing because they... Limit as H goes to zero. Okay, now, hold up. We know what the answer should be. What's the derivative going to be? What should we get? No, no, you're taking pictures four, of me. 4x to, to the third. Okay. I don't need to this one shouldn't be any uglier than the last one that we did, even though we have to do it to the fourth power. But we know that the final answer should come as 4x four, four to the third, but we're going to show why. Okay, here we go. Um, F of x plus h. No. Now you got to write it out. F of x plus h. What will that look like? What? Uh, Shh. I like half with the Yeah, x plus h to the fourth power. Okay, minus x to the fourth, all over h. Okay, Luke, shut up. Shush, no, you're not in this class, go away. Okay, this is what we're foiling out. Okay, we've got to do x plus h to the fourth power. We just did up above x plus h squared, right? So we got to foil him and foil him again. I'm going to do it over here. Uh, that guy and then that guy. Um, x plus h squared was x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay, so I just got to do him twice. Plus 2xh plus h squared. Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay, now we got to foil him, or we got to dist dist distribute him out. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. This guy becomes 2x to the third h. This guy becomes x squared h squared. Okay, that's this piece. He's, he's done. He's done. Now we're moving on to this one. Okay, 2xh plus times x squared, x cubed h, right? Now we do this one. That will be 4 x squared, h squared. Okay, this guy is 2xh to the third. All right, last one. h squared times x squared is plus h squared x squared. This guy will be plus 2xh to the third. And this guy is plus h to the fourth power. Yay! All right. Now, finally, x to the fourth has no partner, so he's just going to go by himself. Done. Okay, 2xh cubed, 2xh cubed, or excuse me, x cubed h, and the other x cubed h's. No, that makes... 4. x cubed h. Okay, x squared h squared. x squared h squared x squared h squared that makes six x squared h squared boom 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 okay now x h cubed x h cubed four x h cubed plus h cubed or h to the fourth there he is okay after we do all that junk okay now let's pull an h out oh wait no we've got to do that minus x to the fourth all over h Okay, so x to the fourth cancels. Now we got to pull out an h, or just divide everything by h. Can we just divide everything by h? Yeah. If you divide this by h, you get 4x cubed. If you divide this guy by h, you get plus 6x squared h. Divide this by h, 4xh squared. Divide this by h, h to the third. Now what? The limit as h goes to 0, so we plug 0 in for like all the h's. 0, 0, 0. What's my limit? Or what's my derivative? 4x to, to the third. Hey, look at that. Whoa. Ha! And we know from the power rule that that's right. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. I know, right? <laughs> um, what's next? 23? Last one? Yep. Is that all we need? Is just the 2x, 12, 18, 23? Yes. That one. Did you have a question, Libby? Sorry. Well, like, is that the... Yes, dy dx is just another way of saying the derivative. Right. Yep. Okay, 23 you said? Yes. 
Twenty-two X is. I really gave you twenty-three. Yes. Are you serious? I did. Say no. Yeah. It's just matching. Yeah, but what do you? I don't know what the what heck we match. Yeah, but I don't want to do 23. I don't want to do 23. So we'll skip it. You can do skip 23. Okay? We don't want to do it. Okay? All right. Did you guys do your homework for 2-3? No. We didn't finish the last one. We didn't finish it. Yeah, but you should be able to do, like, the first, like, 2 through 10. Oh, well, we didn't do that. Okay. Do that now. Right now? I mean, you have 15 minutes left in so class. So we, we don't do the rest of the lesson today? No, we're going to do the lesson tomorrow. Okay. Two, wait, what is yep. it? Yep. Two, two through ten, the evens, uh, 18 and 40 and 64. So start doing the, uh, it's just a power rule. They shouldn't take very long, like two through ten, the evens stuff. Okay. okay? So start those. Okay. Start those, and that's it for today. We'll finish notes tomorrow. Goodbye.